1988, Jamaica experienced a Category 5 hurricane. The Eye of Gilbert swept through this valley. A week after the blow, two young birds started flying from their nest for the first time. One was Rufus Brown, like their mother. But the other was different. The plumage on this red-tailed hawk was very light, nearly all white. It could be seen right across the valley. The three birds stayed for two months, and when they flew eastward towards the Blue Mountain Ridge, we wondered if Gilbert, for that was his name, would live. For two years, the valley was quiet, until one day, a red-tailed hawk with outstanding plumage and a loud cry. Could this be Gilbert? How would we know? Well, after cruising the valley for a few minutes, he flew directly to his nesting tree. This was Gilbert. He returned every year, normally when the valley was windy, and we imagined that hawks follow the wind to be able to use their great powers of flight for hunting. The 14 species of red-tailed hawk are found from Canada to the West Indies. Their diet is small rodents and lizards. Our iguana would be a fine dinner. But here comes a much more difficult lunch. Glamorized by Kipling, venerated by the Egyptians, worshipped by the East Indians, and hated by the West Indian, the mongoose. There are many species of mongoose around the world, from China to Cape Town, and they all look just a little different. In about 1880, several pairs of this wily little animal were introduced in Portland. It was hoped that they would control the cane rat that was eating young sugar cane. After 10 years, they were all over the island. And the only things that trouble the mongoose is man, dogs, and the red-tailed hawk. Ignoring the unwelcome from the little bird guarding a nest, Gilbert gave me a chance to compare the color of his feathers with other red-tailed hawks. As you can see, Gilbert is very different. The red-tailed hawk soars on the wind, flapping as little as possible to conserve energy, sometimes hovering stationary over the ground. Hunting from elevated perches, ready to swoop down and seize prey, or pursuing along the ground in low flight. As for the mongoose and the rat, the rat is a first-rate survivor and did two things. One, he moved up into the coconut trees because the mongoose can't climb that high. And then he only came down at night when the mongoose was fast asleep. Because Mr. Mongoose found plenty to eat during the day and doesn't see well at night, he took no notice of Mr. Rat. One day, Gilbert arrived 
with a regularly colored rufous brown hawk. And then suddenly we realized from their antics and the size that Gilbert was Gilberta. Females are much larger than the male. The red-tailed hawk is monogamous, mating with the same individual for many years, only taking a new mate if the original dies. This is courtship. Great aerial displays, flying in wide circles, diving and climbing. And you notice the talons outstretched when the male comes over the top. They're known to use the same nesting territory. Here she is, flying into a roost, and the male is following. Normal straight flight is about 30 miles an hour, but when they dive, they can reach up to 120 miles an hour. Gilberta returns maybe three times a year, using the valley like she knows it's hers. In the 23 years that we have been observing her, I'm sure that she has been observing us with our one eye. Red-tailed hawk, one of the great birds in Jamaica's skies.